Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight, oh. we got that new Woodford Limited. That was a subtle intro. Historic injury proof. Oh, oh. Who's calling me? My wife. One second. Good luck. Hello. What you doing? You're gonna long for that right now? Best one I've ever done. That ever. is by far the best, best long board. You have to keep that in. I can't keep you it. You have to keep I'm that. On the phone. You said hi. This has to stay in. Now I have dinner plans with my wife, and we're going to tell you about this whiskey. And I did the best long pour literally in the history of the channel. Yeah, I had to cut it too. Weird looking to not cut it. I swear to God, it's not cut. Uh, I already had to ruin Dan's uh, day and tell him that this is a 700 mil. For some odd reason. Oh, the nose is freaking phenomenal. So, though. do you know the actual entry proof? On I this? do. It's funny you ask that. Is it like 103? 100 to 103. There we go. Somehow we have a range, I guess. Well, Let I me tell you how we have a range. Because it doesn't make any sense to me. The barrel entry proof. Oh, no. Let's skip forward 20 sentences. This is from Breaking Bourbon. Thanks, guys. You guys are literally the best. Appreciate you guys. The bourbon of the 19th century had a barrel entry of 100 to 103 proof. Okay. And after the repeal of prohibition, barrel entry proof levels began to increase. The present barrel entry proof that was set in 1962 is 125. For okay. that. Yep. That's it. So all they did was just proof barrels differently and then blend them together. Isn't it funny that they don't do that anymore? Guess what current barrel entry proof is? Not 122 to 125. 125. Well, the, yeah, you can get the most concentrated alcohol in there interacts right. the fastest with the barrel. I've never been to a distillery and said, what's the entry proof? And they go, here's the range of it. They always just go 110, Michter's 103, yeah. Turkey 107 or something, right? Yeah, they There's no ranges. Too. It's so odd that there was a range at that point in time. You want to well, know why? No technology. was great in 1965. Probably not. They were basically moonshining. No, yeah. no, this is 1965 is when they went to 125. I mean, four years after that, they landed on the moon, but. Isn't that crazy that you like the nose on We haven't been back to the moon. I think that this smells phenomenal. It's like a strawberry spice tobacco. Um, it's really tobacco-y for me. You not get that? Is it like a lemon? Maybe. I just washed it. No. Same nose. I don't equate it to leather. I don't, I said tobacco. I don't know why Brown you're going sugar. with leather. Oh, sorry. Same shit, different day. No. Yeah. Two oh, different things. Kind of. Um, Oof. This is brown foreman. Like that. This is like aged brown foreman, 90.4 proof. Like Sean said, 700 mil because we're getting ripped off to 50 mils every time. Hey. This is also because of and from Dustin Kelly Ballou. Mm. So a huge shout out to them. Because Game on screen. Lights, I lights, lights. haven't seen this. They saw it a while ago in the state that they live in, which is not our state. And they helped us get it. So thank you for doing that. You're not going to dox them by saying the, the entire state. I was going to say the address, in? but I mean. Oh, I would. And you know, you could just narrow it down by state. <laughs> and people have 50, well, 48 to choose from. 50. And they know it's not Michigan. 49. <laughs> 49. Well, it's probably not Hawaii or Alaska. <laughs> you either, don't so. know, dude. It literally could be. We're getting lower and lower here. I think this smells great. It's a little bit banana. It's a ton of brown sugar. It's rich, like a very rich, dark profile. Very sweet. It's got that really dark, spicy oak. I guess that's what I'm thinking is like mm -hmm. the tobacco note for me. Like it's it's just spicy and dark. It's okay. It tastes like it's 90.4 proof. Mm-hmm. Doesn't yeah, but you know what I'm saying when I say that though. Mm -hmm. Oh, but the finish is phenomenal. I think it's a little dry woody though. It is dry. Yeah. For 90. But hold on, the finish is nice because it comes back with like a, a banana. A rich like a caramel. Caramel banana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is weird because that's nowhere to be found anywhere else. I think it's that oak. That oak lingers forever. Which is on a 90 prover. Interesting. Yeah. That is probably one of the more interesting 90 provers I've had in quite a while, I it feel It does like. that thing that almost that Promise of Hope did. Not as impressive, like, but Not as does. impressive, yeah. but it has that like wave of flavor yeah. in my tongue where I can literally feel it move up from front to back. It's really weird. And it kind of fades and comes back. Yeah. It's like a, is it, what, what's the goodbye where you never leave? You know how Irish is just you're out? What's the opposite? <laughs> I don't know. Like a French goodbye. You just, <laughs> you just keep move. saying sorry and you never you just take move off. In at yeah. that point in time. Um, I'm starting to get like a, a plantain note, that green On the banana. Nose. Yeah. This nose is one of my favorite brown foreman profiles. Dark, rich, syrupy, heavy caramel, heavy brown sugar. 
Um, I wonder how long this has aged. Did it say that? Mm, I didn't see that. It's just limited series. Oh wait, I didn't even, oh. Mm. Forgot this is a master's collection. Mm -hmm. Because the, the other limited that I just got, thanks to Nick, is not a master's collection, but it's in that bottle. It's not a master's collection? Because it's a travel exclusive it just or says something? It doesn't have the master's collection. Oh, it doesn't? I don't, I don't think it does. Hmm. I'll go look at it. No, because it has the XO thing on it instead. Yeah, You're right. It has, it has a it down maroon there. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it. But it's a, a 700 mil bottle. Is. Well, they all are apparently now. Doesn't matter where you buy them. I wonder when that started. Genuinely think. I think this year. It doesn't tell. It doesn't say how old it is. That's what I was looking at. I do like this bottle though. The club. I love the club. This is some caveman shit. It's thick. It's a gal. <sighs> Price on this? Really yeah. like that whiskey a lot. Price. I need the I think, price. let's just say 150. It, that's the highest. Okay. It's under that probably. I think that that is the first. You know what? It's, it's very interesting. Do you know what it's like? It's dry like a Dusty's dry. We've had a lot of Dusties that have that weird drying aspect mm -hmm. to them that are low proof. Yeah, lower proof, yeah. And they aren't all that old. Like I think the more I drink it, the more I like it. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan. Like I, I don't feel it's hitting as dry after like a couple uh, drinks on it. Yeah. I'm just really thinking I, I think could crush some of that out. I still out. think it's a little dry. I think it's a little dry. A little bit. But it, like the first one like really rang yeah. the tongue out and I was like, whoa. Oak. Dude, oh my gosh. I could, <sighs> big fan. Really? Just, just this whiskey literally turned me into a freaking horse. Cause when I, <sighs> I sounded like a horse. Okay. What is the, what are cool horses called? Not Clydesdale, those are cool horses, but a stallion. There we go. I'm a stallion now. I was before, but. Just not even unpacking that. <laughs> We're good, Dan, you're correct. Been studding me out for years. It's been a long day, so. <laughs> this is the best master's collection I've had in. Outside of the, the batch proof or barrel proof, what are they called? Yeah, I just or removed those in my brain from yeah. master's collection, but yes. I don't even know the last couple are. What? That's how good they are. You don't know what they are? Mm -mm. What do you mean? What was the last master's collection? I don't know, we had a wood, we had the chocolate malted rye, that was disgusting. Oh yeah, the five malt the one. This Play-Doh. Yeah, the five malt, I think, was the last one. The five right? malt stout or whatever. That, Nick tried to give us a bottle and he said nay. Tastes like Play-Doh. Yeah, that was bad. Wow, they've actually turned a corner now that I, I think about yeah, it. I, the it, one before that we didn't like either. No, that was a chocolate malt that ride before that. Okay. I'm pretty sure. I thought that was like two years was ago. Was it? You know what the last good one was? The brandy cask, in my That's opinion. So long ago. Outside of, and I am removing the batch proofs, like you just mentioned, from the conversation here, because the batch proofs have been great. The only thing we have over there is batch proofs. Yeah, and then the old genie bottles. Yeah. Because we stopped buying the new ones. Oh, we've got the cherry wood. Oh, we got the chocolate malted. I know we do. It's That's disgusting. terrible. Look how full it is. Yeah. It terrible. looks like it's almost brand new. The cherry wood was interesting, not great. And mm -hmm. then all batch proofs. Wait, what's this one? Oh, just another batch proof. Okay. Batch proofs great, mm -hmm. come to find out. Um, this is actually pretty redeeming. I love this. I really love this. I think our... Our issue every year with this stuff is like you have an experimental that you're charging normally SRP like 125. Yeah. And I literally can't like Brandy Cast might be the last good one that we had. And that's four, five years ago, I bet. Oh, more than that. But yeah, it's that one's a really, <laughs> really long time. That was worth every penny. Brandy Cask was before we started the channel. Wow. Because I bought it when you and I went for, to a deadlifting competition. Yeah. We weren't doing any of this shit. It'd be like six years yeah. ago then. Secret time. We used to power lift in Sean's mom's basement. We did, we had a channel. <laughs> yep, anyways. This is fantastic. This is really good now. You know what, just because of how cool, what, you know what would be a fun experiment that I'd love to try, that we can never try now, but this exact whiskey at their current entry proof with the same age in the same rick house at the same floor like, give me like wherever these barrels came from blend wise. Yep. Have done them also at 125 and done the See same bottle next at? to it. Drop them at the same time. Give everybody a fun experiment to play with. Because you're basically making a cast ring version of this then? No, 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 not cast ring. Like, I want it identical, 90.4 proof. Oh, you're going to say take it from 125 entry proof. entry proof down to 90. Yeah. Oh. Because I just, because now we know that let's just say there's around 100 entry proof. I would love to try this exact whiskey at 125 entry proof to see which one I like more. Because I like that a lot. It's just bad proof. 
But that's just, barrel proof. I know, just water it down the Might be different ages. 90. You know what I mean? Like that's the other thing. And what would be interesting is to know where this proof that when they blended it, because we know what the batch proofs are like, what, 118 to 120 range? Yeah. Be interesting to see how much this went up from 100 while it aged. Because obviously those went to those went down actually. Well, there's a 128 over there and a 129. Oh, are they they yeah. go that high? So that 118 is just really we low. We have a then. 118, 125, 119, 118. Okay. There they go. So they're around 120-ish. So there's the, some variance. So their entry much. proof goes. They generally go down instead of up on entry if from they're entry doing proof. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it'd just be really interesting. There's like a lot of information from this that they could have released. It'd be really cool to know, honestly. That's great. The downside's like the price, but I actually think it drinks great. B plus. Um, in current market, I think this is a lot better than a lot of bottles around 100 to 150 bucks. I'd rather have this than like the the eight year Willet, the the black bottle yeah. and the cash drink yeah. rye, or 107 proof, whatever that was. Yeah. Um, Mm, I'm, like trying that's to, I'm just comparing it to things bad. in my brain. Basically, it's going to be a, a, a an LE of anywhere else. Yeah, it's an LE. Yeah, it's it true. drinks like an LE. That's true. That one's too. good. Now, I'm just, I don't, just being beaten down and they're just not tasting like LEs. These are often not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm just ha I'm so happy that there's an experimental that is interesting and good at the same time. What, I love that. Was that great though? I don't know. It's got to be like an A. Okay. Just feel like I've been giving everybody A's. But it's not their fault, that's my whiskey. fault. Yeah. Get a better scale. Your scale's yeah. busted. What did we review like two weeks ago? The Phoenix, I've given everything an A. Gosh yeah. dang it. I, I'm not, this cannot we, be. We did have a good month though. Yeah, that can't be punished because I've been handing out A's. It like, can't be, I can't um, punish the whiskey for that. So yeah, the Phoenix was really good, this was good. Um, this is was good. Yeah. Different levels of good, that I would, would just value I would good. genuinely Ha like own two bottles of that and be happy about Bunker it. Bunker one, yeah. do you think? Or just like drink that whole and be like, cool, I got another, open it. Yeah. I just like, because it drinks so freaking, when people, this is the perfect bottle. When people go, nothing under her proves any good. You're like, insert here. Yeah. And it's not Lost Profit, which is a million dollars. And it's not Blade and Bow, which is $600. Yeah. And it's like, this is like a hundred, let's say 130 to 150 bucks. And you can give it to somebody and be like, that's 90 proof. And they're like, wow, that's actually great. You know? I mean, as for a Woodford product goes, that's probably one of my favorite they've done in a while. Especially in that bottle. It, this o outside of, honestly, batch proofs, which are yeah. always way up there for us, but yeah. anything else, this is like really, really good. This beats the Brandy Cast for me, which was my previous favorite. In we that. didn't get a Baccarat, you know. <clears throat> that's fair. $2,000. That's fair. It's pretty glass though. Ricky saw that glass in a store we went into. She goes, that looks stupid. I go, it's too grand. <laughs> Yeah, it looks stupidly fucking expensive. Yeah. I'm like, well, whether oh, you like shit. it or not, <laughs> they we can't it. afford it. 